Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to install PyCharm on Ubuntu. PyCharm is a Python IDE, whereas IDE is Integrated Development Environment, which can allow you to develop the Python programming in an integrated environment. These kinds of IDE software will allow the programmers to write their codings in an easy manner. PyCharm has some inbuilt functions like code completion, error highlighting, customizable user interface, and key bindings. PyCharm is an open source tool which can be able to install in Linux systems. If you are a Python programmer, you can try this application for writing your Python codings. So now let's see how to install PyCharm. PyCharm will require for Java program to be installed on your system. So before going to install PyCharm, you need to install the Java program. Currently, there are no Java program is installed on my system. Here you can see. So we need to install the Java program. If you have Java program is already installed means you can skip this step. Now I will show how to install Java on Ubuntu. First we need to add the PP repository for installing the Java program. Now run the following command. Now you can type this command and hit enter. Now the repository is added. After adding the repository, you can upgrade the system repository by running the command apt get space update. Now hit enter. Now the repository is updating. Wait for some time. When the repository is updated, you can run the following command to install Java. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now choose OK. And here choose Yes. Now wait for some time until the process is complete. It's going to take some while for installing Java on your machine. So please be patient. Now Java is installed on your machine. After installing Java, you can able to continue the installation process for PyCharm. Now run the following command. Now type command like this. Here. This command is going to add the key file for PyCharm. Now type it and then hit enter. Now the key file is added here. What this command is going to do means this will create the file called jetteb.list under this location. It is nothing but a repository file for installing PyCharm and then this command is going to add this line into the file. Now type like this and then hit enter. Now you can check cat space and then the file name with the exact path. Now hit enter. Here you can see this is the line we have added in the file. Now you can update your repository. Now type apt get space update. Now hit enter. Now the repository is updating. Wait for some time. Once your repository is updated, you can able to install the PyCharm by running the following command. apt get space install space pycharm space hyphen y now hit enter now the package for pycharm is installing wait for some time it will take some time because it has a size 125 mb this process is going to take some time depend upon your internet speed wait until the process is complete now PyCharm is installed. After installing, you can open the application 
from the command line by typing the command by charm or else you can open the application from the unity dash now click here and then search for PyCharm here you can see the application now open this if you have already installed PyCharm and if you want to import the same settings into this new PyCharm means you can choose this option otherwise you can choose this and then click OK now accept the terms and conditions now the application is opening here you can able to set the default path for storing your projects here you can choose key map scheme and then IDE theme and then editor colors and fonts now choose it and then click OK here type your root password To create new project, you can click here. This is the path where the project will be stored. Now click create. Now you can create your project. Now click new. Now choose file. Now type the name for your file. Now click OK. Here you can choose which language we are going to use for your project. Now let's write some Python codings. I choose Python and I click OK. Now the project is opened. From here, we can write our codings. Now I will write a sample coding. Now here I can able to see the coding for adding two numbers. Now click here and click run. And choose the project we want to run. Here you can see the output. Now enter the number. Now enter the second number. Here you can see the output. So this is how we can able to install and use PyCharm on Ubuntu. Now you can try to install this PyCharm on your machine. So that's all about PyCharm. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.